Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Fanged One's Horizon Forbidden West Let's Play series. I am the Fanged One, with you as always, and this is episode 22. So, I think we are finally ready to head to the cool route. Ooh, no, no, no. That machine was coming straight for me. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I think we're finally finally ready for the cool route. Um, there might be one more bandit outpost. Um, I want to say there was one that was 12. But that may be the one that we just did. So uh, let's go ahead and get... Let's check. Uh, well, hold on. Let's take care of this machine, first of all. Oh, no. You're running away? Okay, good. All right. Rebel outposts. 25. So we're not ready for that one yet. Oh, actually, we can go back to the... Uh, to this one because we can finally blast our way in hold up let's actually do that first I'm guessing because of you yeah it's because of you isn't it Now. Now let's head here and see what we can't do about opening up that fire gleam area. Because considering how much they're expanding this world, I really don't want to miss all the side stuff. Alright, where's the fire gleam? That old world ruin. I wonder what's inside. Okay, let's see what we can find around here. There's the fire gleam. Hans, beware. Tonight, after hours at the Zion Museum? Oh, damn. That's your party? Yeah, of course I'm there. Good. So can you keep a secret? Isn't the whole party a secret? I mean, we're crashing your workplace. Not crashing. I'm organizing the Pioneer Party of the Century with an exhibit to go with it. Okay. But more importantly, if you use VIP key code 2204 you can get to the office on the second floor that's where the real party will be okay so how many vips will be there two this could help really like that was your that was your big plan well i'm not getting up there that easily i gotta find something that can help there's some kind of device here Yeah, thank you. This will break my fall. Okay, let's get this crate out of there. Door. 
Looks like it needs power. to that. Capable of recharging. Interesting. That's a new one. Hold up. Cell. But it looks like it's out of power. There was a recharging station back here, so I'm not super worried about that. I think I can slot this energy cell into that device. There we go. Charge the energy cell. Uh, I want to discharge the energy in the cell. I gotta power it up again. Okay, that's interesting. Can I jump holding an energy cell? Jump, hold it. Well, wait, hold up, hold up, wait a minute. Ha ha ha. There. The lock on the door above should have power now. Going down. Okay. This thing has power now. Two, two. Oh. I'll hold on to it. Didn't make it 10 minutes down the road before we had to make an emergency pit stop. And I mean the explosive. 
apologize to the staff and their cleaning bots kind. I'm, I told Tom not to order the sushi back at the lodge. This isn't the vodka. Even if it's from a food printer, there's just some things you don't eat out of the middle of nowhere. But hey, not a bad place to leave another one of Kyle's glowing balls. Golden two cons out. Might want to use for it later. You know what? I, I got to admit, like, that's a... These are cool little thought puzzles, if nothing else. Done both of those. What the hell is a gauntlet run? Oh, it's the razors, right? All right, time to uh, check out the cool route. The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaro's throne. And ether. Okay, am I missing something here? Outlander, the chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. The arena. This must lead to the arena. Another part of the ruins turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. They know what battles come. Aloy. It seems you've had to move mountains to bring this. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Catalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the plan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Katalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Mm -hmm. the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. Mm, let's just go. Over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the north barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. 
there's armor in that chest. Take it. It might prove useful. Good. May it keep you safe. Plus one to heavy weapons, plus one to stealth terror, plus one to low HP region. Okay, I have to admit that is a cool feature that you can put an armor on but make it look like a different armor because you want Aloy to have a specific look. I like that. This cool road will honor the fallen marshals. No, 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 no. The blades of the Tenor are not taking this place to the history, Outlander. Honor and strength. Look, comrade. Easterner. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance, my challengers will be facing Wagala. It is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. At least with Regala's troops, you actually stand a chance. Defenders should be at the end of this trench. All right, give me just a second here, guys.
All right, guys. I needed to run downstairs real quick. Um, so we're going to be here through the entirety of this section. So this might be a, long, a longer episode. ballistas nothing to really help me fight the machines blaze traps is really about it focus on the machines take them down and regala's forces become no different from our own yes chaplain watch each other's backs Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. No, there's they something on the ground there. Route from below. But from above. Not that. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. The cool root is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! down a machine shall be named Marshal. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory. Okay. Here comes Regala. Here they come! Hold them back! Defend the cool route! Is that the only one?
Get it. No, there's no way. There. What is that? I don't know. Is that a rock thrower? Hold the defenses. Go. Holy shit. Now we got us. Now we got one of the big snakes. Get to the weapon. If I can draw that thing close, open fire. Hey! That's right. Over here, you big worm. God damn. God damn it, this thing is so OP.
I have no healing berries at all. This is not good. Get him. Give me a path up to Regala too. That gives me a little wiggle room at the very least. Not today. This isn't finished. I'll be back with everything I have. And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red.
At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished with Darla. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the ten. Hmm. And that subtle little nod from the marshal, like you earned his respect. All right, Aether. I know you're scared. But everything will be okay. I was hoping there'd be some some stuff to explore, but apparently not. That console. All right, hold on. We do have some some stuff. It looks like. Ever partition the cluster without telling me again? We had power surges all over the place, including one in the main building at 11:31, right when Director. Kadori was heading out for the night. The gold mountain hollow lit up from total darkness right as she walked by and it scared the living shit balls out of her. She was pissed, dude. What are you trying to do? Get us all, I'm guessing, fired. Same thing that's in Gaia's chambers right there. Any other? No? Look at all these little... I don't see any other ones, just that one. I'm actually a little disappointed. I mean, that was a little anticlimactic. All right, that's fine. Come on, Ether. Time to go home. Home, Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Ether subordinate function to original code. Get this back to Gaia. All right, Aether. Time to go home. Like she said. Time to go home. <laughs> you were not, I was going to say, you were not reaching for your weapons around Aloy. Oh. The words of the Ten are now clear to us. Here. This must be the vision that Chief Ikaro saw years ago. All of the visions are changed. And this one just... arrived. Okay. The visions throughout the Grove are different now. And this one... It, it just appeared. Is this your doing? have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. 
Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Okay. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Mm -hmm. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction. As we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. As someone who served, it's almost enough to bring a tear to my eye. If you're going to take inspiration from anything, you picked a hell of a thing to take inspiration from. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm <laughs> coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Aloy is assembling an army. I need to get Aether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms too. Might be worth checking out. Yeah, let's go let's go look at them. I can hear every word now. What it must have been like to fly into battle. Join the DF ten for a covert operation deep within the rainforest. JTF-10 protected assets critical to the insurrection. Deep in the jungle, concealed by mud and darkness, they laid their traps for their enemies. There's the outlander who saved the cool route. Will Regala attack today? Or is it all a ruse? Perhaps Regala's threats were empty. You'll need the courage. cool route can begin. The sentries will need to be vigilant today. Discover how JTF-10 claimed home field advantage in the desert. JTF-10 seized key assets all across the desert. Where others feared the Mojave's raging sandstorms, JTF soldiers used them for cover, crippling enemy supply lines. Okay. Observe the grid of JTF-10 in the mountainous regions of the hot zone. Trained to outlast, conditioned for any climate. JTF-10 were elite defenders in even the most remote mountain landscapes. Aloy, Out in the field, a word if you will. Joint Task Force 10 acted as one. Led by Colonel Edward De La Hoya, 
Their bodies and weapons were always honed for battle. Nails, ink, bruises. These daredevils of the sky Eloy. shared it all. Do you have a moment? Blood of the Ten, Aloy. <laughs> Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the Chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, okay. Kabul. He was not counted among the dead. Which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Mm. Many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Cabo is the last of my blood. What made Cabo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others, the young especially, care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. And for Cavill, it was probably a bit of both. It was probably a bit of both, yeah. Cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. You said Cavo is your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then, their children. Mm, that's gotta I'm suck. Sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the vision. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cabo from following the trail of blood. So if Cabo didn't listen to you when he joined the rebels, what makes you think he will now? Cabo was too young to fight during the Red Raids. Moore was a stranger to him. But he must have experienced the suffering it brings by now. He will listen. He must. I just have to find him before it's too late. If Kavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy, and the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. I mean, he didn't, he didn't kill Regala. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. Hello. But you and me guarding the memorial road? Maybe even catch it My strength is weak. Oh, we have a quest here now. Chen, I fear we must lean on your strength and generosity again. Just tell it to her straight, Dukka. The tribe needs the arena. She's our only hope to getting it open again. You need the arena? But the cool route's over. 
That's true, but we also use the arena to boost the tribe's morale. We use it for training. Herd in machines so our soldiers can experience the glory of the kill in a controlled setting. Which, of course, boosts morale. But Chief Hikaro won't let us reopen the arena until the ballista protecting the field is repaired. We need it in case a machine runs amok, and it was damaged during the cold. The parts we need aren't easy to find. I get it. You need me to hunt down some machines and grab the parts. We'd ask someone else, but every squad in the Grove is on alert. But the task is not without compensation, right, Kala? Of course. Once the arena is open again, I would be honored to invite you to compete. A wide variety of machines will be available. And I will award you prizes for victory. Not just from the arena, but also for medals won at hunting grounds. You'll be able to trade them for some of the tribe's very best gear. To fix the ballista, we'll need a sinew from a roller bag, along with some bristleback tusks. Both kinds of machines have been spotted near a campfire to the southeast. When you're done, bring the parts to me at the maw of the arena, on the northeast side of the grove. Okay, I'll see what I can do. One more thing, if you're going back into the wilds, I have another duty tied to our soldiers' morale. A regrettable one. Every Tanakh soldier carries a tag carved with their squad symbol. Rebels have been hoarding the tags of the soldiers they kill. You might find such tags at any enemy outpost. If you do, bring them to me. I'll make sure they're returned to the soldier squad mates and loved ones. Having confirmation sometimes soothes their grief. And there are bounties involved, if that matters to you. I've already found some of those tags. I don't have anything to pay you with here. Bring them to me at the Maw of the Arena when you can. Thank you, Champion. And please don't forget the parts for the Ballista. Okay. That's, yeah. Guess I need to head southeast to find that. As far as the base, I'm thinking that's where Gaia is. I'm thinking it's up this way. Trying to see my stash later. Mountain mutton. Interesting. <laughs> the hell? Oh, a rock. Okay. Is that a damn pelican? No, um, look, I'm not really wanting to fight you. I'm just not 100% sure of where the hell I'm going.
<sighs> the snow brought the chill. Betrayed us at the Karja Embassy. Mm -hmm. I can't say the clan lands would be welcome, but you can count on me to be your eyes and ears out here. The West is full of dangers, even a warrior like you should look out for. Speaking of, you should know the rebels have been busy. They've set up outposts to the West. Some settled into a camp southwest of here. And I know the marshals can't deal with all of them, so I'd stay alert out there if I were. Thanks for the warning. Okay, where the hell is this interest? Wait, seriously, where's this fucking entrance? There it is. This? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy. Fucking errand. Errand. You're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I see glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Ooh. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We all know what that look means. Every red-blooded man in this watching this episode knows what that look means. She headed for that Osaram camp you two were looking for to the southwest. I just think she talks a lot. You would too if you knew everything there is to know about. Hey. Hey. A nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you uh. Well, you had your doubts about bringing us along. There's a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> There's nothing I can't handle. Right. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood. How you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sunday. Mm-hmm. And now I do. Sort of. It makes me 
feel like I could be useful. You know? It takes some time, but yeah. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. <laughs> I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land, when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt the Vod will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. So, Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I should get going. I just keep uh, practicing with this thing. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. But with the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Paul. How's, uh, training with Zoe? You know we really are training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory. And All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. <laughs> yeah, scary. That's, yeah. Kids. And they became an entire tribe. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. I guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, the tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields for me. That one zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. That's... that's enough. I'm guessing you've spoken with Catalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second I thought I was talking to my mother. <laughs> I never thought a Tanakh and a Nora war chief could have so much in common. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe. We'll be fine. Alright, so we will pick up the rest of these interactions um, in 22. Um, uh, 23, sorry, this is 22. In 23. <laughs> I'm already over the time and I want to get uh, I want to get this scene with Gaia over with. Hello Gaia. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you.
So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Coordinates. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone, or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Aluthia send a <coughs> transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection, or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I'm mm -hmm. also uncertain why Aluthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Aluthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there. Or... Or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Aluthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending a transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. True. So True. Maybe it's not them, then. It could be silence. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Yeah, guys, like, I'm not taking any chances with you, girl. All right, so we got a lot of gathering we need to do, a lot of machine fighting we need to do um, in order to upgrade gear. Hey, yeah. I was able to unlock another room in the main living area. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. All right, so guys, that's going to do it for us for episode 22. Uh, we will pick up episode 23 in a couple of days where we will most likely be investigating this signal from Eleuthia. In fact, I'm actually gonna, just going to keep going, but I am going to stop this episode here. So I will see you guys in a couple of days. Until then, 
take it easy, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Any comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and ring that, that notification bell so you can be notified when new, when new videos drop. Um, with the new schedule, we have new stuff going up almost every day with the exception of the weekend. We have regular gameplay going up on Mondays and Fridays. We've got uh, ARC content going up on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then we have like a uh, throwback type episode that we're doing or that we're going to be starting. Uh, I believe that's going to be every Wednesday. So we've got a lot of stuff coming and it usually comes. And then, of course, during the ARC, our ARC roleplay uh, seasons, those air every day on top of the regular aired content. So when you ring the bell, you can be notified of like when everything goes live. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Till then, take it easy, everybody. Later.